Good day everyone and welcome to day 221, turn 221 of your daily Civ 7 news update. We got some good news today from the developer interview at PAX West, so let's get right into it with some confirmed civs. Uh, we knew we were getting Rome in the antiquity age, but here we have one potential path Rome could take, becoming the Normans in the exploration age, and then becoming the French in the modern age. Very excited to be able to play as the Normans. The other one we got here is relating to Ashoka, I think that's how you pronounce it, starting as uh, Mariah in the Antiquity Age, which you already knew, uh, but this can lead to Chola, India in the Exploration Age, and finally Mughal, India in the Modern Age. Nice for all those people that didn't really want to change civs over the course of the game, preferring just to stay as one civ from start to finish. There you go. Play India. The last civ reveal I have for you is the Modern Age progression for Songhai, which is able to lead into Buganda. No real details about any of these civs yet, how they play, what their abilities are, unique units, none of that. So I'll have to wait and see uh, as more gameplay and civ leader reveals are uh, drip fed to us over the next few months. The last thing I wanted to talk about uh, is this image. They brought it up briefly on the live stream and used it as an example of what a Norman city might look like when it was built originally with Roman buildings and wonders. And I think this is absolutely fantastic. I think a lot of people, myself included, are really keen on the idea of Conquered Cities retaining the look and feel of the Conquered Civ, uh, but from the gameplay that's been shown so far, it looks like the second you capture a city, all their buildings magically change to fit your culture. Um, at, at first glance this doesn't seem too far-fetched, after all I don't think it's unfair to say that, uh, you know, it's generally been pretty standard practice throughout history. When you conquer another nation, one of the first things you, you might do to get that population under control would be to try and erase their history and, and whatnot, and a part of that would be supplanting their architecture with your own. So I get that, um, but man, wouldn't it just be so much cooler if all their buildings remained as they were? Um, and then, you know, the new buildings you built would be dotted in and around them. I think that'd be amazing and would really be on brand for the whole theming of this livestream event, uh, which was the tagline, history is built in layers. If I had to guess, I reckon it's probably a technical limitation more than a stylistic one, but anyway, it's a minor nitpick. Uh, so that's all I've got for you today. I'll see you all tomorrow, but until then, thanks for watching.